Hi, and welcome to this VigaML tutorial. Today, we will be analyzing airline and weather data in order to predict if a flight is going to be delayed. The data has gone through many prior steps to reach the state that it is in now. The first task with any workflow in VigaML is to open the dashboard and create our original source. VigaML has many options of creating sources, such as downloading from URLs. However, our source is stored in our local computer, and once finding it, we will click it to open. After our source has downloaded, we will want to turn it into a dataset, where our eventual ensemble will be trained on. In VigaML, most functions have two menus to be selected from. One menu is the configure menu, where we are allowed to play around with the parameters of the function. And we can see here for the dataset that we get to decide the percentage of the data we want to be transferred to the new dataset. In contrast, if we enter the other menu, the one-click menu, BigML chooses the default parameters for us and simplifies our job. Since we want to use 100% of the source, we will click one-click dataset where the default is 100%. Once our dataset has completed processing, we are presented with all our fields and small summaries attached to each field. For this dataset, we don't have a column that labels if a flight is delayed or not. However, we do have a column that gives the exact number of minutes if a flight is delayed on arrival. We will want to desynchronize the minutes delayed into a categorical column. Since we will be manipulating our dataset, we will want to go back to the configure dataset menu where we will click Add Field. First, we will want to name the new field that will be created. We will just name it Delayed. Next, we will want to pick a function that will help create our new field. BigML provides many functions that could aid in the creation. However, since our function will be specific, we will choose to write our own Lisp function. Once clicking Lisp function, we will then enter the flatline creator. The flatline creator is a more organized way to write expressions and make sure they are valid. We can now write our function. The function reads, if the field airline delay is greater than eight minutes, then the flight will be labeled true and considered delayed. If not, then the flight will not be considered delayed and labeled as false. Once we have finished writing our expression, we will click Validate. Then click the preview and give it a quick check. And finally, we will accept our new target field. After we have written our new field, we will process a new dataset by clicking Create Dataset. When the new dataset has processed with the new field, we can check to make sure it has worked. And as seen, it has been attached to the end of our dataset. It is important to check if the target field is balanced or not. We can see that there was 1,694 airplanes that weren't delayed and there were 660 that were, showing an imbalance does exist. Additionally, we will want to enter our target field to mark it as target. Otherwise, our ensemble would train on the wrong field. Once we have our target field confirmed, we will want to create our ensemble. However, we will want to first conduct the test strain split on our dataset, so we can evaluate the performance of our ensemble once it has been created. We will enter the configure menu and click on test train split. We will leave the split as a default 80 and 20%. After our split, we will find ourselves in the training data. Here, we can finally proceed in creating our new ensemble. We will want to enter the configure menu instead of the one-click menu since we will want to click the option that allows us to balance our target field. We will choose to configure our ensemble. Balance our target field that we confirmed that was imbalanced and click create. After the completion of our ensemble, we will enter the one-click menu and create an evaluation. 
We can see that the test dataset that was created is already set as default. We can now click Create. As seen in our evaluation, our ensemble did an amazing job. But we should proceed with caution because the ensemble performed a little too well. To conduct further investigation, we can go back to our ensemble. Here, we can check the ensemble summary report. We see that the ensemble only considered one field, arrival delay. An arrival delay was the field that our target column was constructed out of in the first place. So leaving it for our ensemble to train on ruins the usability of the ensemble itself. For further analysis of this dataset, we will basically configure two new ensembles. We will first go back to our dataset. We will click the configure menu and enter the creation of our first new ensemble. The first thing that we would want to do is to balance our target objective once again. Then, we will want to deselect all the fields that involve arrival and in-air time data. We can leave fields that involve CRS, computer reservation systems, that basically means scheduled time. These informations are too relevant to our target field. Once we have deselected the fields, we will create our new ensemble. To test the performance of this ensemble, we will again create a one-click evaluation. We can see that our ensemble has performed very well once again, but not perfect, with the accuracy, precision, and recall all being equal to above 90%. We can also see in the confusion matrix that we do have a good percentage of true positives and negatives. Going back to our ensemble, and entering the summary report once again, we can see that the most important field is departure delay. Since this ensemble still includes the statistic for if a flight has been delayed at departure, it will be useful for predicting if a flight will be delayed on arrival after takeoff. This could urge an airline company to make sure to have the landing and terminal process prepped and more rushed upon landing in order to help the delay. Now, we will go back to our dataset and create one last ensemble. We will enter the configure menu once again, set the objective to balance. Deselect the fields that we will not be using from before and additionally deselect the departure delay field. We will then finally click create for our last ensemble. An additional note, the weather data is connected to arrival and departure times. However, the data did not vary greatly by hour, so I considered it okay to leave as is, even though we did take out departure and arrival times. Once our ensemble has been created, we can enter the summary report and see that there isn't one field that dominates the ensemble, and this can make it more useful and reliable. We will now go back into the one-click menu option and create an evaluation with our test dataset. Unfortunately, taking out all the information from the prior fields did cause our ensemble performance to suffer. And we can see that the percentage dropped into the 70s. However, this ensemble can be used to predict if a flight has a good chance of being delayed before takeoff and this may be more useful for some airlines. In closing, I hope this was useful in seeing how ensembles can be used to tackle problems such as the ones that exist in the airline industry. Thank you, until next time.